This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating clip speed changes in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Changing the playback speed of a clip is a fast and easy way to create an eye-catching visual effect. In this short video, I'll show you how to create hold frames to pause, then restart the action. Another film from Standard Films. Look at this. Look at this. How they managed to get the camera and the snowboarder in the same position to be able to do that shot, I just do not understand. It continues to blow my mind. In fact, I'd like to hold on that just for a second so you can appreciate how good this really is. So with your playhead at the frame that you want to freeze, right mouse click or control click on a clip and go down and say add frame hold. What that does is it replaces everything from the playhead position on to the end of the clip with whatever frame your playhead was positioned on at the point you created it. The good news is this fills out the rest of the clip. The bad news is it fills out the rest of the clip. So I want to have another option. Let's jump back to that marker and right mouse click on the clip, but this time rather than say add frame hold, which adds a hold frame at the position of the playhead to the end of the clip, I'm going to insert a frame hold segment. This inserts a two second clip that pauses and then picks up where we leave off. Let's just watch that again. That, I can't believe the incredible luck they had with that shot. This defaults to a two second duration. If I want to make it longer, you would think that you would grab the roll tool and roll the clip. The problem is when you do that, it adjusts both the in and the out. The hold frame is fine, but the in of the incoming clip is wrong. Instead, you use the ripple tool and you ripple the hold frame longer, which doesn't change the in of the incoming clip, or you ripple the hold frame shorter, which again doesn't change the end of the incoming clip. So to adjust a hold frame, you use the ripple tool, not the roll tool. By the way, just to explain, there's a couple of other options down here that I want to call your attention to. Field options are only used when you are working with interlaced media, it determines how interlacing is handled, and frame hold options are only involved when you're using keyframes in a clip, how you want those keyframes handled during the hold frame. Most of the time, you don't have to worry about either one of these. So now we know how to create still frames, which are a separate piece of video, and a hold frame, which is integrated within the sequence itself. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating clip speed changes in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 349. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media, and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.